gentlemen, your opening bout of XFN 39 Live and Renegades in West Palm Beach, Florida and worldwide on Flow Combat is set in the XFN 165-pound Muay Thai division with three two-minute rounds of action. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, standing at five feet, eight inches tall. He weighed in at 162.5 pounds. He is making his amateur Muay Thai debut and fighting out of Senjutsu and Boynton Beach, Florida. He is Nicholas Storm Rider. Marto! There you go. And his opponent, boat. fighting out of the red corner, standing at six feet, one inches tall. He weighed in at 163 pounds. He's also making his amateur Muay Thai debut and fighting out of Hard Knocks in Silver Lake, New Hampshire. He is Anthony Carbonero. These boys look like they're chomping at the bit, Blake. Indeed, and for those of you watching at home, these guys are both making their debut. They will be wearing headgear later on our Muay Thai undercard. We will feature uh, bouts without headgear uh, as well. So, But in the debut, got to uh, make sure we uh, keep, keep everybody as safe as you can be in a fight. And it looks like a couple of last-minute instructions here with the uh, cage side official. Round number one underway. XFN 39, as I mentioned, from Renegades, gracious host to us here for quite some time. Uh, most of the pandemic since the secret underground bunker. There's, oh, nice right hand there from the Car Carbonero oh. effect. Oh, a nice head kick as well, followed by a right hand. Looking to land some good knees to the body. Yeah, Carbonero looks a little bit, well, looks a not lot a little bigger. bit, looks a lot bigger yeah. than Marto right at this moment in time. Good utilization of the reach advantage, too, from Carbonero. Oh, nice oh, right beautiful hand. Beautiful combination. That happened from a combination. I can't stress enough if you're a new fighter. Combinations. Combinations. Yeah. Combinations. Combinations. Marto is throwing some shots here, but the yeah. range, the range and the volume coming from Carbonero are a real problem. Oh, that knee hurt him. That yeah. Knee, that knee definitely hurt. He's covering and up. And combinations working. I mean, just uh, basic boxing on the inside, staying nice and tight for Carbonero. Nothing nothing too flashy, but nothing, uh, nothing to pick apart either. Like, very, very solid fundamentals here. Nice little lead leg upstairs. Oh! oh. <laughs> the biggest right hand of the fight for Carbonero, and he's landed a couple good right hands thus far. Man, Carbonero is an output machine here. Good fight. Uh, nice little rally there from Marto. Carbonero's are so much bigger, and those knees to the chest are really, those are going to add up. Yeah. Oh, nice right hand from Marto. Yeah, Marto seems to have a little bit more power than you would expect from his frame. Marto going to take a knee there, probably uh, in his best bet. Those knees to the body are really starting to accumulate here. And uh, with the headgear, uh, they don't do a whole lot to absorb the, the shot to your head, but they do a little bit. Knees to the body, though, yeah. are being absorbed by the rib cage only. A little bit of water in the basement never hurt nobody. It's going to hurt Marto if, it's keep gonna going, hurt. <laughs> if it keeps no. going on this way. <laughs> Putting water in the basement never hurt nobody. That is correct. A couple good leg kicks there from Marto. Marto should have some confidence in what he's doing here. But I think the range, striking from the oh, that was both a guys, nice, yeah, nice little ending of Rocky three there at the yeah, yeah. Carbonell's a lot bigger, man. 163 pounds, six foot one versus 162 and a half at five foot eight for Marto. That's a thunderous kick. Yeah, <laughs> it's the first time I've seen a leg kick take down the thrower since uh, Antonio Enoki versus Muhammad Ali. Nice work on the inside from Marto. I think he might have had a little sting on that yeah, one upstairs. Yeah. You know, I think I think there was a little anger behind that. He's getting a little. He was sick of getting a. Yeah. Bullied. And now in the second round, let's see if Carbonero used more energy than he zapped from Marto with the body shots. If that makes sense, which guy's gas tank's uh, going to pay off better? It's so, it's, mm. it's Carbonero. has got so much length to deal with. Yeah, nice work from Marto. When he's yeah. on the inside, you can score when you can score. How long? How many times do we pull our hair out, beating on the table, saying that we wish that guys would fight longer? No. Carbonero is not giving us that opportunity. No, to not at all. He's doing exactly what oh, he's doing. Oh man, with his and he is making. That's, that may be it. Let's see how Marto answers this count. Those knees of the body are not going to feel good to anybody. Uh, great job of Carbonero striking his way in from outside, and that is it. That's all she wrote. Going to wave that one off. I don't know if that's a referee stoppage or if Marto said, I want to live to fight another day. Either way, almost a flawless performance from the Carbonero effect. Anthony Carbonero 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ray Ramos stops the fight at 55 seconds of round number two. Your winner via TKO out of the red corner, Anthony Carbonero. He certainly has earned a moment in the spotlight. Anthony Carbonero, I'm right behind you, buddy. Uh, perfect. All right. Take a look, Worldwide Man. Hey, you came out with an excellent game plan. We were talking, Sean and I, my, t uh, my commentary partner, we beat our heads on the table saying, I wish that guys that were long would fight long. You struck very, very well from the outside. Beautiful use of knees inside. Nearly flawless tactics. Take a moment and uh, express your, your fans worldwide on Flow Combat. That's a heck of a debut, man. Thank you very much. I, uh, it's just what I've been getting taught here at Hard Knocks. Uh, honestly, I wasn't thinking much. Just doing, didn't have a game plan. Just came out, did everything my coaches told me to do. Uh, thank you, friends. Thank you, family, for all the support. And I can't, I gotta make a shout out to my, to where, I, where it all started back in Maine, uh, Recon MMA, Matt Proven. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate my coaches and everything, family. So much. Thank you. Great time here at XFN. You guys are great. You told me yesterday at the weigh-in that you moved down from New Hampshire to pursue uh, a career in the combat sports full-time. That was absolutely a step in the right direction. That was your debut in kickboxing. We hope to see you back uh, quite often. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to roll into the next fight, but put them together for Anthony Carbonaro.